Hello friends and happy St. Patrick's Day. I figured I would turn on the camera and we could make some Irish potatoes. If you don't know what that is, it's a little sweet tree. It's a uh, butter, cream cheese, confectionery sugar, um, vanilla, and let me see that I say it all. Cream cheese, butter, powdered sugar. Oh, we can't forget the shredded coconut and vanilla and then we're going to roll them in some ground cinnamon if you've never had these they're excellent so we need two ounces of butter which equals out to four tablespoons of actual butter so in case you didn't know that because i had to relook it up it's my recipe four tablespoons two ounces of butter so let me grab a knife And we're going to use KitchenAid mixer. And we're going to put the four tablespoons of butter. I did have it out. My cream cheese, on the other hand, it's a big block, which is eight ounces. It has markers for eight ounces. So I need four of those ounces. And I want to make sure that it, see, I buy this, this big brick. It's a three pound brick. So comes like this, in case you buy it like this at Sam's. Each one of these are eight ounces, so I'm just gonna cut four ounces. We're just gonna make a little batch today. So let's cut the cream cheese. <clears throat> I'm just going right down the line of the eight ounces. And I'm just gonna cut just going to kind of eyeball it for four ounces. Is there anything in the background? It's just Thomas. So sorry about that. But who else loves Irish potatoes? I do. And stay tuned because I am doing a corned beef brisket. Um, with potatoes and cabbage and an Instapot, so stay tuned for that video. But today, we're going to make these. My cream cheese is a little cold. So what you're going to do is you're just going to beat together the butter and the cream cheese until it's pretty creamy. It's going to be noisy for a second. get it all creamed together. And that looks really good. Not too bad. I thought the cream cheese was going to be too cold. Now we have to do the messy job and that's to slowly add in powdered sugar and we need four cups. Like I said, it's a sweet treat. It's known as confectionery sugar. So let me get in one cupper. And we have to gradually. This is Jean's confectionery sugar. She keeps it in the bag. You know, this stuff goes everywhere. So, one cup. I'm going to slowly, I guess, add each cup. Mm -mm. So 
second cup. I'm gonna have to get the other bag. Just gonna cream it. We have to add two more cups. Or make some noise, it usually does. Three, and let's go for the fourth one. We will hope it doesn't fly all over. Trying to get exactly the fourth cup. I don't like having confectionery sugar in the bag. And that is four. And we're just going to cream this together. This is a really easy recipe. Just thought I would bring it to the channel. If you know, this is just my little trick so it doesn't fly all over. Just start incorporating it in. Well, that didn't sound so good. That noise was okay. That's all creamed together. Okay, friends, a little bit of bad news making this video. Um, I thought I was hearing things. I went and I got Thomas, told him what I thought I was hearing. He went to touch the plug and he got zapped, so it is officially unplugged. And I'm going to complete the recipe like just mixing it a little bit more. We're just using a hand mixer because you can use KitchenAid, you can use a hand mixer, whatever you have. I think Thomas said this was either her mom's, I'm not sure, but she likes when I bake and do cookies. So we have to either find Mayan. I told him to also call KitchenAid because they usually will guarantee they're, I'm feeling it, it's not hot. So I don't know, it's quite unfortunate. So let me. Take the speeder off. We're going to use a hand mixer and we're going to finish up this recipe. Okay, so we are going to use the hand mixer and now I have to add in um, one teaspoon of vanilla. I need a tiny little mess with the powdered sugar. So, teaspoon of vanilla and then we'll have to mix it. I just used a cap. We're going to mix this in. Hopefully you can see. I'll have to go left-handed. scrape this all down I think that's all that we have to add we are going to let this chill for 30 minutes 
And we're going to get some vanilla. I mean, not vanilla. We're going to get some cinnamon out on. You can do it on a paper plate. But let this chill for 30 minutes. It'll make it easier to roll. So I will bring you back as soon as we're ready to start rolling out our Irish potatoes. Sorry, friends. I got a little bit ahead of myself. But I did scrape the beaters off the best I could. I forgot to add the coconut. So we're just going to scrape this down. It's kind of on the thicker side, so you just have to work with it. It's unfortunate something happened with the KitchenAid. But we will make do. And now we have to add the coconut. How do I forget the coconut? Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. So we mix the combined. Now we have to add the coconut until that's combined. Jean doesn't bake a lot, so she has some older products. Um, that was most likely her mama's. Um, how much? We need two and a half cups of sweetened shredded coconut. I am using coconut flakes. It says sweetened right there. Let's try to cut it open. And we're going to need um, two and a half cups. So, let's get the bag open properly. I'm not even a fan of coconut, but I love these. So if you don't like coconut, you will like these. So there is one. Coconut's not wanting to come out of the bag. Two. And a half. Okay. I eyeballed the half. And now we have to hope this hand mixer can mix this all together. If not, I'll be doing it by hand. So let's try. Shall we? Okay, not too bad. And there you have it, my friends. That's how easy it is to whip up some Irish potatoes. So, I'm just going to scrape it off the beaters. And now we're going to chill it for 30 minutes. And then we'll come back and we will roll it into balls. It just makes it easier to roll if you chill it. So, I'll bring you back. And this is so fast and easy. And we'll have the Irish potatoes all done. Okay, so it's in the fridge, still chilling. You don't, nothing fancy. I'm just recycling a piece of parchment paper. And I'm going to roll them in balls. And I'm just using Jean's ground cinnamon. And I think we're just going to do that on a little paper plate. So just get a paper plate. Because you are going to need... Two tablespoons of ground cinnamon, so I'm just going to eyeball it. One. We'll say that's two. And that's all the ingredients. That's everything that you need. So we're going to finish letting that chill. Then we're going to start rolling and making our Irish potatoes. Okay, friends, let me pull it out. 
Jean got me this because I make them so many cookies, but this is a little bit bigger than a melon ball scooper. So we'll see what size this gives us. I think it's going to be too big. You don't make these um, Irish potatoes real big because it's supposed to be like a bite, mouthful, I guess, biteful. So I think that might be a little too big. And I looked around, I don't see that she has a melon ball scooper. So we may just end up looking at the size by eye and just rolling them. So let me pull that out of the fridge. There it is. It hasn't been in for the full 30 minutes. It's probably been in for, I mean the bowl is ice cold. It's probably been in for about 20 minutes. So let's see. I'm telling you, I think this is going to be too big. But you can you, maybe at least use it. I'm just trying to eyeball it first to see the size that I want. Guys, I don't think it's one bite. I think it's two. About that size. And I'm just going to... Roll it in some cinnamon. Make sure you get it fully covered. And voila, we have Irish potatoes. I'm gonna set that right there. And I think it's best to roll quite a few first before you start getting your fingers in the cinnamon. So let's move the cinnamon out of the way temporarily and make sure let me go grab my cord. Okay, I had to go run and get my phone cord before my actual battery dies. It's been a very busy day today trying to upload videos. So let's roll a few more together. If it's a little too tacky, you might have to put it back in the refrigerator. So I think that's about right for the size. So we'll just stand here and roll some, and then I'll finish rolling them without you, because <laughs> I know that's not the fun part, and I don't want to make the video too, too long, so just grab some. I don't know what's, this should be about melon ball scoop size like that so I have three rolled I'm gonna roll some more and then I'll bring it back when it's time to start dipping I told you this is a super duper easy recipe I used to make cookie sheets of this when my kids were younger absolutely delicious I wanted to tell you if you put them in the refrigerator of course because it has cream cheese and butter <clears throat> airtight container you can freeze these for up to three months so that's really good so I'll bring it back when I have a lot rolled okay so I'm over here rolling away I wanted to tell you that a lot of people will roll them in the shape of a potato um, I'm not doing that I'm making them these for I don't think Thomas likes coconut I think he's like me but Gene said he may end up liking these because I actually do. I'm not a huge coconut fan. And these are absolutely delicious. Um, and then I may put them in a, the little St. Patty's Day cups. Um, just to make them a little bit more fancier. But I'm over here. It does get a little sticky. No big deal. I'm trying to be careful not to go too, too big because then it's too much. It's definitely on the sweeter side, obviously. You're rolling and it looks like it's a little bit too big. Just pinch a little bit off, throw it back into the bowl. Don't worry about your fingers. I don't know if you ever saw the cookie sheets that are sold in like a restaurant store. They're industrial size. 
They're like restaurant size, actually. Um, I made two of those full for my kids and their friends. In case you don't know, I am Irish. Um, I usually will do like a ham and cabbage. I've had corned beef before, like on a hoagie, nice and cut thin with coleslaw. But this is going to be interesting because I bought a corned beef for Jean because she really likes it. I said thank you for letting me stay here longer. And I'm making it Instapot style. Um, because it's supposed to come out the most tender. So, that is what I'm going to be making next. So stay tuned for that video. I wanted to get the cookies done. So I'm doing corned beef brisket, right? Uh, clean cut, yeah, corned beef, corned beef brisket. Um, like I stated earlier, with some cabbage, red skin potatoes, and we're going to celebrate St. Patty's Day. They don't usually eat meat on Fridays during Lent, but Jean said we can because, oh, what did she say? It's St. Patrick. So, looks like we're having meat. <laughs> I'm just grabbing it. It can get a little sticky. I just roll it in the palm of my hand and this one looks pretty big. So I'm going to pinch some of it off. Just like that. Perfect size. Now what I'm going to do is wash my hands and we're going to start dipping inside the cinnamon. I didn't roll them all. It's a the ingredients I will leave down below in the description, but when you're rolling them the size I'm rolling them, you get a lot out of this little batch. And that's why it's only um, two ounces of butter, which is four tablespoons. Um, let me see here. I gotta move things out of my way. Uh, four cups of powdered sugar, two and a half cups of shredded coconut, teaspoon of vanilla extract and our two tablespoons of cinnamon so you start to think to yourself should I make some more you might want to wait to see how many actually get rolled because I have quite a bit left in that bowl so I'm going to wash my hands and we're going to start dipping okay now we're going to take our cinnamon let me make room so you can actually see everything. There's the cinnamon. I'm just going to grab one and make sure it's all covered. There you go. You could shake it like this, and if you still see an empty spot, you can just roll it. They almost look like truffles, if you ever made truffles before. This one's a wee bit bigger. If you have kids, you can have your kids help. They'll probably find this fun. Dipping um, the Irish potatoes into the cinnamon.
and then it's perfection. speak too soon but it's awfully quiet in here tonight besides Thomas in the living room dogs ain't barking I'm gonna finish rolling these in the cinnamon and I'll bring you back okay so I didn't finish dipping the other ones I told you I'm not a fan of coconut Thomas isn't a fan of coconut but when you eat an Irish potato they're delicious so he is gonna actually try one and we'll see if he likes it he asked if they were cooked And he has a sweet tooth for cookies, so we'll see. That's fine. Can't really taste the coconut. You can't taste the coconut. No, I mean, you know it's there. Yeah, but it doesn't have that strong coconut. Nope. So good? Yeah. Yeah, they're good. Okay. She thought Tom, Dean had said to me earlier that she thought Thomas would like them, so. Even though he doesn't like coconut, and I said, I don't like coconut either, but. I mean, there's coconut in it. You could tell coconuts in it. But she, it just has a different type of taste. So, at least I got him to come on and try it. He's a big guy. <laughs> he definitely has a sweet tooth. So, I just figured I would snag him. And have him try it. So like I was saying, you can keep these in the refrigerator. They're really good just to pop in your mouth ice cold. Um, you can keep them in an airtight container in the fridge. Yes, you can freeze them for up to three months. So that's a plus. After you get going. They start moving along a little bit more quicker. You like my word? <laughs> they move along a lot more quicker. Jean is at work, so I will have Jean try one once she gets in. And when I'm done dipping these last three, I will finish the rest on my own. Not bore you to death, but I hope you make this. I really hope that you have a wonderful St. Patrick's Day. I don't know if you're if you celebrate. I usually always celebrate it with food, not so much with a green beer. I'm allergic to beer. I'm not an Irish woman that can drink like that. And this is going to be our last one together. I see I missed a spot. I get this last one dipped and I will finish the rest. These are going to go into an airtight container and put in the refrigerator. You can always scoop out the rest of the batter and put that in like a quart size baggie. But here they are, my friends. Irish potatoes. They look fantastic. I am going to pick a little teeny tiny one. Even though that doesn't look real tiny. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, mmm. So good. And I'll tell you what, you can eat like one... Maybe like two a day, but I can't see eating like a bunch of them back to back. I'm just going to use a container like this. Like I said, it's a sweet tree. So...
So this would be a perfect size container to put them in. Pop them in your freezer, pop them in your refrigerator. You know me now, if you've been following along on my cooking videos, I try to make more. So if I'm gonna make them, I might as well make quite a few. So I don't have to make any more. There they are. Irish potatoes. I hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know if you make them or if you've ever even tried them. Uh, hopefully you can see this well enough because uh, my phone started dying. And um, thank you for joining me. Happy St. Patrick's Day. And stay tuned for the corned beef brisket with cabbage and red potatoes, Instapot style. But this is my video on my Irish potatoes. Thank you for joining me. And uh, like I said, like, comment, share. Leave me a comment if you like them, if you make them, and I'll see you on the next one. Happy St. Patrick's Day.